Well, hello. I'm Pastor Brian, and, and this is Bethlehem Lutheran Church, and it's St. Nicholas Day. And at Bethlehem Lutheran Church on St. Nicholas Day, we usually have a big festival. There's a lot of kids and grown-ups and make cookies and crafts and things and uh, get ready for Christmas a little bit. And then everybody comes in here into the sanctuary. And we have our tree and there's major scene this year, this year. Uh, and we tell the story of St. Nicholas because he's one of the saints of the church. Uh, and St. Nicholas, St. Nick, you may have heard of the name St. Nick. Uh, it is a famous Christmas saint and uh, famous in the church and famous around, around the world under other names. Uh, but, uh, you know, this year we couldn't have our regular uh, St. Nicholas Festival because of the sickness. I've got my mask and everything. Uh, and, but we're gonna, we're making a little film. And I called, I called St. Nicholas. Uh, amazing that I was able to reach him and asked him if he would come uh, for a little visit, you know, at least that we could tape uh, and send out for everybody to see so he could say hi again this year. And, uh, and he said he'd come, um, and so he, he'll be here maybe in a little bit. But I wanted to just tell the, quickly tell the St. Nicholas story again about St. Nick. Um, it's an old tradition, a lot of families. I grew up where we, we hung our stockings on St. Nicholas Eve. That, was, that would have been yesterday. That night we hung our stockings, and the next day when we got up, we always had something in our stocking. and We almost always had an orange in our stocking. And then sometimes we had a little toy, like I would get a little toy car or something. Uh, and sometimes we'd have some little gold, uh, gold chocolate coins, you know, they wrap them in gold foil. Uh, so it was like money. Uh, and we'd get that. And we'd say, why, why are we getting the orange? Why is this money in here? Chocolate money. And our parents would tell us the story of St. Nicholas. And St. Nicholas, uh, the story goes, he, and a true story, he was, uh, he was a man who lived many, many, many years ago, in the, around the third century, uh, in a part of the world which today is uh, Turkey, I believe. And, uh, and he grew up, and at a pretty young age, he was from a wealthy family. They were pretty well off but at a pretty young age his parents both got sick and they both died and here was this young man uh, who was had plenty of money but he wasn't sure what to do with his life uh, and uh, and he he was a very devout uh, Christian and he decided he would he would become a pastor or a priest and so he gave his life to God um, he became uh, a pastor uh, in, a, in a small village. And in that small village, there was a family, a father, who had three daughters. And they were poor, and the, the mother had, had died. And the girls were getting old enough so that it was time for them to get married. But in those days and in that country, you couldn't get married unless you had a big gift of money to give to the groom's family. Sounds unusual, but that's the way it was. It was called a dowry. And the daughters, didn't they didn't have the money, so they couldn't get married. And if you can't get married, then maybe you would end up just being a servant for somebody else or just being a poor beggar. And so it's very sad. And, and Nicholas, uh, Father Nicholas, the pastor, heard about this and he wanted to help them. Uh, but he wanted to do it anonymously, which means he didn't want, he, didn't, he wanted to do it secretly. And so he waited till at night. And he went to their house at night. And he had, he had a bag of gold, a little bag of gold that he wanted to give to them and he couldn't think of how to 
give it to them with still being secret. But he saw that they had a kind of a low roof and they had a chimney. And so he took his bag of gold and he threw it. And it sailed, maybe the hand of God in there, I don't know. It sailed through the air and went down the chimney and it landed, luckily there was no fire, but it landed right on the hearth and at the hearth, the family had put their shoes to keep them, to help them dry out during the night. So they had their shoes by the fireplace and the bag of gold fell right into one of the shoes. And in the morning, they got up and the oldest daughter looked in, the, in her shoe to put her shoe on. And she said, Father, this bag of gold, bag of gold, where did it come from? Didn't, they didn't know, but it meant she had the money she could now get married. And they were very happy. And the next night, Nicholas came back. Father Nicholas came back. Same thing. Tossed another bag of gold and went down the chimney. Fell in the middle daughter's shoes. They were so happy. Well, the, the father said, there's, there's something going on here that, that I, I don't quite understand. I think there's... Bags of gold just don't appear in your shoes in the morning. And so he stayed up and he kept an eye out the edge of the window, pulled the curtains aside. And he saw there was Pastor Nicholas, Father Nicholas, coming by. And sure enough, through a bag of gold came. So they knew who did it, who gave them those gifts. And from that, those gifts, uh, the, the story of St. Nicholas grew and, the, and people talked about him and how generous he was and he became an example. Uh, and over the years, many more stories were told about St. Nicholas uh, and his generosity and his love, especially for children and for people who were in trouble, poor people. Uh, he became the patron saint, they call it, of sailors and prisoners, other things. Anyhow, he said he said he was going to come tonight, and it's just about that time that he usually shows up. So I'm going to put my mask on because I'm not sure where he's coming from exactly. But and so I, he usually comes from over by the tree, somewhere over there. So let's see if he. Oh, oh yeah, oh, he's appearing. Saint Nicholas. Greetings, greetings. Greetings, it's so good to see you again. We'll do an elbow bump, because if I can see you, you know about the sickness. Where I'm from, too. Yeah, it's all over the world. I wish you could see me smiling, because I'm very, very happy to be here. Well, we are so <coughs> delighted that you could come. But, but where are the children? The, ch the children. Well, they are, they're looking, they're looking at us from their houses. They can from see us houses. from these little boxes that I set up here. They, it's it's a picture. It's like when I call you, and all of a sudden there. Yeah, I was I was amazed by that. I know. Somebody gave me a picture of you, and it started and talking. I know. It's it's amazing what we have nowadays. It's I mean this is I don't know how long. I was almost seventeen hundred years. It's been a while. Yeah, so yeah. you you and your story have been around. And when they talk about Christmas giving, and they talk about, you know, it's, it's, it's nicer to give than to receive. Oh, much better. Really, we have, we have you to thank for that, St. Nicholas, because you helped teach us uh, and remind us about, the, you know, of course, the biggest gift of Christmas is, is the Christ right. child. He's not there tonight, you notice, because it's not quite Christmas. And so we don't put the we're waiting. Jesus, we're waiting. Yeah. Until then. So you've, you've been well, though? I've been doing very well. That's yeah. Good. I'm taking care of myself healthy. I'm doing That's some good. more walking. Okay. And not seeing, you know, who I can at a distance. Right. Uh, from where I'm from, there's still the problems that you right. have here. Yeah. And so we're you know, just taking precautions. Exactly. At this time of year, and with your example, we want to we want to show love to one another. And a lot of times, you used to say, we show love, we give people a hug, we go visit them, we take them cookies, and, and we just can't do that these days. And, 
And so showing love kind of has a little different shape this Christmas. It's, it's, it's sometimes it means staying away. That's how you can show love. And, and that is a way to protect show Protect yourself, protect your friends. That's right. And so we want to keep everybody safe. And hopefully by next Christmas, by next December, this church will be full of be a glorious parents year. and children. And we'll see you again. I'm saddened that it's empty now. I am too. I am too. But I'm so glad, glad to see you. It's great to see you too, my friend. And I wish you a blessed Christmas. Thank you, and a Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you for coming. Bye now. And, and that's our annual St. Nicholas visit. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of Bethlehem's uh, unusual, uh, but still fun, St. Nicholas Festival uh, this year. And we'll hope to see you uh, next year in person. Thanks.